Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at um, Siemens uh, uh, Citran Sam IQ, which is a app for collecting uh, diagnostic data from from instruments. It's open to all manufacturers, um, so we're not just restricting it to, to Siemens instruments. Uh, as you may be aware, if you've got your own plant, you'll have a mixture of instrumentation devices. But we are looking at getting the diagnostic information from an instrument using the, the, the more open ar architecture. Um, and for that, we're looking at heart instruments and profibus instruments that uh, are connected to an intelligent infrastructure. So we'll have a look and go through the presentation. The first thing you, you need to be aware of is, is the new names that you're going to start um, uh, uh, to see over the, the next uh, year, maybe two years. Uh, but going forward, the, um, the suite of apps is going to be called Citrans and then whatever the app is called ending with IQ. So uh, we already have released the mobile IQ app, which is uh, the apps for Bluetooth connectivity to, to instrumentation. And then here we have the release of the new Citrans IQ app. And these will be cloud-based apps and in some cases on-premise apps as well. So um, we'll supply the software and the connectivity so everything stays on your premise. So for those um, applications like, like say some power stations where they don't want to send the data off site, we, we do have a solution. The connectivity is going to come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. So we got we got 3G there, but you know we're looking at 4G. Um, if you have a look over here on the right hand side, we have the RTU 3030. This is quite a nice device because you can put a heart input card in here and then pass all your heart digital information and diagnostics up to these apps. So that layer is going to be called Citrans Connect. Um, some of them might be called Cloud Connect. And of course, we have the instruments where measurement is king. You know, the, the whole plant or process is running on data that is being supplied from these instruments. So what we're trying to do is to make sure that this data is good. So what does the, the app do? Well, what we're trying to do is get at that stranded data. A lot of the times, 90% of uh, applications out there, even though we have a, uh, you know, a diagnostic backbone, we're only reading the process value. I quite often add this from customers that say, oh, we've put this Profibus network in, but what are we doing with it? You know, you're not actually using it to its uh, full extent. So this app will unlock that data. It will monitor the field device data uh, diagnostic wise and trend it. Um, that's the important thing. So over time, we see what's happening to this diagnostic data. So if it starts to deteriorate, we can put alarms on there to say, right, okay, you need to go out and have a look at that before it becomes a failure. And um, that often you know, is the case. We know this diagnostics is here. We ignore it forever and a day, and then all of a sudden it fails, and now we're interested in it. But it would have been nice to have known what the diagnostic state of the instrument was from, from, from day one, okay? So if we have a look at a level transmitter, for instance, um, does that require cleaning? Uh, have you changed something in the process that's agitating the liquid too much on a pressure transmitter and, you, and, you, and you're causing um, you know, uh, the, the pressure transmitter at the bottom of the vessel to read the wrong value because you, you, you've created a vortices? So what we can do is we can overlay uh, multiple um, parameters on, on customized dashboards. So if you want to see if it's the temperature affecting a process value, you can over 
overlay those if you've got those measurements and pressure and everything else so so it helps you understand not just what's happening with one instrument but what's happening in your in your process so this is what we're we're, we're trying to, to do um, we're, we've, we've, we've mentioned that you know we, we, we've now got access to all of this information okay um, we need to make sure that all the diagnostics are functioning within the, the limits that they're meant to be but also it's um, you know day one of your plants you know what you've got on there but 10 years time when you've had to move sensors around from one bit to another to get you know a, a critical part of the plant working do you actually know what you've got where and what your obsolescence is as well you know have you got a critical device that is no longer made so this is really the future not all of this is here yet but what we can do is track device replacements so that the tag of that instrument and the serial number of that instrument if it's moved from one place to another we'll be able to, to track track that if anybody changes any parameters the app is going to alarm and come up and say that those parameters have changed so you can quite easily monitor that and then change change it back to the condition that it was before it started failing so we get this you know the transparency of, of everything now right down to the field level so um, the device health state is uh, monitored to uh, the Namor standard NE107 so you get the Namor symbols we're gonna have a look at the app in a minute so you can see see that um, and you'll be able to see the full history of, of, of that so if you if you've had an intermittent fault You'll, you'll see um, that that's gone and you can also have it so you have to acknowledge the faults so you know your, your, your maintenance people on on site need to, to clear the alarm uh, history okay um, and then as I said previously we can, we can create our dash our own dashboards but be, between devices which is quite a, a nice function so if we have a look at uh, some of the screens let's say I will launch the app as well this is the overview screen so these are the new you know, more symbols and we can see at a glance what's normal and then we can filter uh, on on each one of these okay um, so uh, that's screen one one then we can have a look at the events what's been happening over time um, device maintenance change you'll see device changed and all sorts of alarms under here and those will all be time and date stamped for you and then when you get, click on the device that's where you start to see the diagnostics that it's been logging so um, we have the actual sensor value so that will be the the you know the the process value hopefully you're, you're reading on your DCS or PLC and then at, as we scroll down you'll see there's more diagnostics so the nice thing about these these trends is they're quite user friendly again I'll show you that in a minute and then when when you come down to um, this analysis so this is you need the advanced license to, to perform this but you can create your own dashboards with multiple process values on here and then you can click on one at a certain time and you'll see what was happening with all the other process measurements and advanced diagnostics from the instruments at that time hopefully giving you an insight into into why it's failed okay but what we're trying to do with this app, app is trying to, to to stop that from happening by monitoring the data over time and putting predictive uh, uh, measurements in place the app is is designed to work on multiple platforms so you, know, you can see here on, on an iPhone tablet looks very similar to, to a PC screen so really anywhere in the world uh, you can see what is happening um, on your plants with your instrumentation uh, so how does it work well we have our uh, our process plant and what we need to do is gather the data um, so first of all we need connectivity down to the instruments so we need IO cards with 
part pass through or Profibus PA, Profilet, Profibus DP networks. At the top end of that, we have something called PDM Maintenance Station. And there's various different versions on that. There is a standalone version uh, which comes pre-built on on a on an industrial PC, and that will sit on your Ethernet or Profinet network, and then it can connect to your whole plant. And it doesn't have to be a Siemens PLC or DCS. We do have a way as long as you're coming down to an intelligent Profibus network. Um, at some stage or a Profinet network, we can get PDM maintenance station to, to connect to that. But please have a, have a chat with us uh, and we'll come out and have a look and see what we can do. And what PDM does is that, that gathers the data. Okay? And I'm going to put another video on to show you how you set maintenance station up to do that. But um, it's then stranded on PDM maintenance station. So what you'll have on your plant is, and this, this software gets issued when you, you order uh, Citrans IQ, is something called a, a data uh, security gateway. And that is uh, pre-configured. Um, so all you have to do is install it on your PC and tell it where these XML files are being installed. And then this will grab the data. You'll hopefully have a firewall here at the top end and it will send the data to the SAM IQ um, app. What is the, the next level? Well, really now we've got the data in the cloud, um, the possibilities you know, become quite endless to be honest with you. So um, of course optimization, we can generate reports but remote service could be a possibility because you if you have all of this connected and you have a connection to the outside world, the possibility is that you could have um, you know, the diagnostics monitored and programming done remotely um, to get things up and running quicker. So you have access to, to process experts, you know, whether that's Siemens um, or somebody in your own business. So. What do we need? We, well, we need the app um, running, and the first version of the app is running on Amazon Web Server. Um, then we need PDM Maintenance Station to, to collect the data. Then we need the Data Security Gateway. So again, this, this gets supplied with your SAM IQ order. And depending on what firewalls and whether you've got company proxies, um, the setup may may change slightly, um, but um, you know Siemens service is, is here to help. So this is the ideal scenario, really. So we have your plant on a system bus, and PDM maintenance station will be connected to that. That's normally Profinet. PDM maintenance station then has uh, another um, uh, what is it, it has three Ethernet ports, two for Profinet, so if you want to do a redundant ring, and then one to connect to, to your terminal bus. And what you'll have there is some sort of firewall, and this will then be your company network. And what we're saying here is we have a quarantine PC with the data security gateway on. And what happens there is PDM will um, allow this PC to grab the, the XML files and, and put them onto here. So we have one firewall here, and then to send the data out, you should have another firewall, of course, that will be your company firewall, and, and, and you may need a company proxy to be programmed into the gateway, and then it sends it to the app. So that's, that's the layout. Um, my demo, I have um, everything installed on PDM Maintenance Station, and then here I have a Siemens um, secure gateway, um, a Scalens S26, I think it is, for my connection to the outside world. So I, I have something a bit more secure than what you would have on your standard uh, router that you buy from, from home. So um, that's my connection. And really, this is just to summarize what we're trying to, to do with, with the app. Um, really. The, the, the overall benefit is that you now see how well 
your instruments are performing so you don't get that nasty surprise on a Friday afternoon or a Sunday morning that a level instrument or a flow meter has failed and it's causing you to run your plant in hand and affecting your production. So that's finished um, an overview of uh, Sam IQ. So on the next blog, I'm going to take a look at um, the actual app itself. So um, hope that was useful and uh, please tune in to future blogs. Thanks for listening.